First of all, uh, we're very respectful uh, for what took place on this site. It'll be forever remembered. Um, but what's really important is also to is the resurrection of the site. This is now a place of culture, community and commerce. For Westfield, it's, it's particularly significant because we're opening what we believe is now a global flagship, setting a new global benchmarks um, with retailers and consumers and how they interact with one another in one of the most magnificent buildings on the planet. And of course, we're in the financial capital of the world. So for Westfield, it's particularly significant, but we're particularly conscious of, the, of what went on here and we're very respectful of all of that. And you have a, a lot of activities planned today for the families and yes, some, some other events too. So a little bit less celebratory perhaps in some ways than other mall openings. But if you look at the landscape of the mall right now, there's a lot of concern about what's going on with many retailers closing stores much more so than they have in the past. Is that concerning as a mall operator, especially opening a big, beautiful project like this? Well, I think Westfield recognized this trend some years ago and has transformed itself into a business that essentially owns flagship assets in major iconic cities. And this is an example of the future of retailing, not the past of retailing. And if you just would look around this mall, you would see the most cutting edge retailers on the planet. Apple has just opened a, uh, one of their global flagship stores. In 2001, they only had one store, and today they're the most productive store on the planet. Eat, food is a very important aspect of, of the mall business today. Uh, and Italy has opened their second store in, uh, in New York, and actually they're opening with us their first store in Los Angeles next year in, in our redeveloped century city. So the focus on technology, the focus on food mm. is really important, and it's, and it's making up, and, and the focus on entertainment and interactive concepts. Right. We, we have here some real firsts. We have some partnerships that have been created with J.P. Morgan Chase, mm. with Ford, who is opening an interactive, innovative hub, with PepsiCo and with Sennheiser. These are global brands that would have never used the mall space before, but because this is such a special building, with 300,000 commuters a day, a working day coming here, and 15 million uh, domestic and international tourists, it's a very special place, and we're incredibly excited about what can take place here. And so just a quick final question. You mentioned that tourists, and tourism is very important for you in many of your flagship stores because they're in major cities. Yes. Is that a problem lately, tourism? Well, tourism is not a problem. It's tourism is, a, is, 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 is an exciting opportunity. This place is not based on tourism. Lower Manhattan has been transformed dramatically since September 11. It's now a place to live and raise families, not just a place to come and work. It's a place, it's a thriving lifestyle community now that has taken place. But the fact that you also have tourists and it's such an important site is, is, is a plus and it's a big plus. New York's a very special city and, uh, and I'm sure it'll be very exciting here. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.